guys. It's been a while since we've done a non-fiction genre book, so we're going to do a really fun non-fiction genre book to start off our week today. It is called Stinky Bugs, and it's by Joan Emerson. P.U. Stink bugs are invading schools, cars, and homes all across America. When they're irritated, these bugs can really smell. And they're not the only ones. Read ahead and meet some of the stinkiest insects around. Now when we read this nonfiction book, we'll see if there's any new facts or information that we learn. Because nonfiction books are full of real facts and information. Have you ever seen this kind of bug? There are more than 7,000 species of stink bugs living around the world today. The most common stink bug, the brown, memorated stink bug, is native to Asia. It was first seen in the United States in the late 1990s in Pennsylvania. That's the state we live in. Since then, people from 38 states have reported seeing stink bugs in their homes. Even with six legs and a pair of wings, brown marmorated stink bugs are slow moving and they're harmless to humans. But they're a nuisance. When threatened, these stink bugs give off a terrible smell. Ew. Darkling beetle. When a darkling beetle is in danger, it stands on its head or runs around in a zigzag pattern. Because of this strange behavior, scientists have nicknamed it the clown beetle. When a clown beetle is threatened, it faces its behind towards a predator and lets out a smelly odor. No joke. Ew. Ladybug, have you seen that one? With its polka dotted shell and lovely mane, it would be easy to think the ladybug is the sweetest bug around. Get close enough to this beetle though, and it will release a stinky, sticky yellow liquid. This liquid is actually its blood. Not only does it smell bad, it can also stain clothing, carpets, and furniture. Jewel bug. There are about 450 species of jewel bug around the world. The jewel bug is named for its shiny, bright, colorful shell, which resembles a jewel. Though these insects may look beautiful, they're actually closely related to the stink bug. And like stink bugs, jewel bugs release a bad smell when they're irritated or disturbed. Cockroaches can be found in homes all over the world. When many cockroaches live together, they can stink up a whole house. But that's not the only gross fact about cockroaches. After a cockroach's head is severed, that means it's cut off, it can continue to live for days or even weeks. And cockroaches have been around for more than 250 million years. Back then, cockroaches walked the earth alongside the dinosaurs, and they could be one foot long. Ew. Assassin bug. Assassin is another word for killer. And the assassin bug lives up to that name. This bug uses its mouth to stab other insects and then releases saliva inside the enemy's body. The assassin bug slurps up the prey's insides like a human would sip a milkshake. Because it's related to the stink bug, the assassin bug is full of smelly liquid. This liquid is a great defense because most insects don't want to eat the stinky assassin bug.
Harlequin Cabbage Bug. The Harlequin Cabbage Bug, also called the Calico Bug, Fire Bug, or Harlequin Bug, is a type of stink bug found in Kentucky. Each bug may have a yellow, red, orange, blue, or black shell. The bright colors are a signal to predators to stay away. If predators still try to attack, this bug releases a really nasty smell. The broad-headed bug. Stink bugs may be the most well-known smelly insects, but the broad-headed bug is said to be even stinkier. Like stink bugs, broad-headed bugs give off a nasty stench whenever they're threatened. According to scientists, the bug's odor smells like a human with really bad breath. The end. The callosoma. Callosoma are large ground beetles that can release a liquid that smells pretty gross. They let off this smell to keep away predators, but sometimes they act as the predators. In fact, Calisoma are called caterpillar hunters because they eat gypsy moth caterpillars that destroy the trees. The bombardier beetle. Though a bombardier beetle is only about a centimeter long, it's a good fighter. When in danger, it points its rear end toward a predator and shoots a chemical spray from its behind. This spray isn't only smelly, it's also very hot and can burn any predator that gets in the beetle's way. The Conlephasma Enigma. In 2012, that's not very long ago, a mysterious insect called the Conlephasma Enigma was discovered in the Philippines. It's a type of stick insect which earns its name from looking just like a stick on the ground. Unlike most other stick insects, Conlephasma does not have wings. It lives on the ground instead of in trees, and it is multicolored instead of just green or brown. And when scared, this insect releases an awful odor. Green lacewing. A green lacewing lives in fields, gardens, and forest edges where its green or yellow coloring camouflages it in its habitat. This helps it hide from predators like birds, bats, and larger stick insects. If it's found, the green lacewing gives off a nasty smell to scare away would-be attackers. Formicine ant. There are a lot of amazing facts about ants. For example, an ant can lift 20 times its own body weight. That would be like an average human carrying three cars. Some ants, called formicine ants, are extra cool. When attacking prey, these ants spray a smelly, acid-like chemical that burns. It can't hurt a human, but when many ants get together and spray, they can defeat much larger insects. Slug. While a slug is not technically a bug, it is a mollusk. It's stinky too, and for a pretty cool reason. A slug moves and it leaves a trail of stinky slime behind it. Each slug has slightly different smelling slime. This one-of-a-kind smell keeps it from getting lost. A slug just follows its own special trail. It can always find its way home. And that's the end. Have you seen any of these kinds of bugs? Did you learn any new facts about a bug? I really enjoyed that nonfiction book. <laughs>